Systems would like to give everyone a first look at the latest developer software we have been working on. As you can see, the UI has been completely redesigned to make it easier for the user. All of the screens being shown today can be moved around and docked, like so. This will allow the user to utilize more of their workspace while also utilizing multiple monitors if available. Let's get started with the two windows to the left. The window on the bottom will allow you to check in and out your models and your schemas, while the top window will be where you make your selections for any type of changes. We'll be checking out one of the models from the tutorial by simply expanding the model and checking the object like so. We're going to be selecting the complete through lesson four. We're going to be selecting company and state. Down below, you'll have the option of checking out with modify permissions, read only permissions, or you can override a checkout or just simply do a refresh of the models and the schemas. We're going to select the checkout modify. Once the model has been checked out, you'll see it in the models and schema window above. Now we're going to take a look at the model and business object windows starting with the model. So we're going to double click the complete through lesson four and a new document window will, will appear. One thing to note is you'll notice that the toolbar has been updated as well to provide a better visual for the user. Here you also have the option of going through and selecting the different tabs. We're going to leave this window open and we're going to open up the business object company. As you can see, a new tab is created leaving the model viewer available to access if need be. Under the company business object, you'll have your different tabs that you can select and choose and make any changes where necessary. Next, I'm going to open up the methods for add and again, another tab is opened, and you can again cycle through each tab to make any necessary changes. Next is the properties screen for business codes. And you'll notice that each screen so far has been designed to easily fit within the screen resolution um, for that particular user. Next, I'm going to open up the rules for company man mandatory values exist. And again, another tab is created and you can cycle through each tab and make the necessary changes. The last screen I want to show you is the company detail for views. And as you can see, each screen is similar to the pro previous one each has a tab that you'll be able to navigate through and make any changes. One of the features with the tab function or feature above is when you right click you'll be able to close a particular document, close all but this, close all, organize your screens horizontally or vertically. Another feature is your active documents drop down here. This will allow you to easily see which documents are open and quickly navigate to that particular document. The other feature is this X button, which will close whatever current document or active document that's open. So I'm going to go ahead and start closing out these documents using this button. And I'm going to go back over here to the models and schema. And I'm going to select models at the top and schemas and I'm going to do a check-in. Once everything is checked in you can exit out of visible developer and your models and your schemas have been checked in and securely put it back into the repository. I want to thank you for taking the time to take a look at the latest developer. I also wanted to note that all of the features and UI that you're seeing has been designed using the Telerik controls 
making it uh, easier to navigate and user-friendly as well as professional looking. Thank you.